two big wins for our program. Uh, I, I don't know where to start, Shannon, to tell you the truth. I, <clears throat> so we're family, and I really got personal, you know, my, my kids involved in both sides of it. Uh, that's a very good team, both girls and boys. What are we talking about, boys right now? Uh, it's just, and I'm just proud, proud, so proud of the fight and the effort. And, um, that's a good team, and they're a good team. I just, I'm proud of this bunch for being resilient and finding a way to win. Um, we missed a lot of shots. Shooters went real hot, but, you know, I, I pulled the Calipari, pulled the old Calipari thing out on them this week, and, you know, I told them, I told them at halftime tonight. I told them, I said, you know, you're not going to make all of them, but, you know, good grief, you can't miss all of them either, so keep shooting. And, you know, we just, shot just enough to make a difference and um, I'm proud. I, I, I really don't know where to go other than that. Just that's, that's big for our program. I noticed, you know, when, when Cooper stepped to the line for the last time there, you, you sort of pulled him off to the side. I mean, can you just tell us maybe what you what you tell him? Because I know he, he was sort of struggling a little bit, but he hit that last one there. Just talk he said, make the next one. Make shot, make the next one. Only takes one. And, you know, that's really it. said, use your legs, right? said, use your legs. And uh, he apologized when he come over. He said, my bad, coach. That's the first thing he said was my bad, coach. And, I mean, you know, that's, you know, how the guys I'm looking at right here, how many hours they spend in gym shooting. I know they can't miss all of them. They're going to make some of them. You, just, you get all ill and mad because of free throws when they miss them, they're never going to make them. And you just got to have that confidence that you're going to make enough and hope that's not what beats you. Um, Cooper, that's the – Second game in a row where you've come to the line, you know, crucial situations there. We just, just talk about that. Just um, big teams, big teams make big plays at the right moment, and uh, you know, coaches always during practice, you know, they'll tell you when you shoot free throws, when we practice free throws. Um, state championship game, down two, one and one, you got to hit the first one to get to the second shot to tie it up, and just it gets you calm during fr uh, pressure moments. Chaz, once again, rebounded. I mean, it just seemed like you were you were in there on, on just about every ball there. I know they had some size, you know, like uh, like one of our did. I mean, just, just talk about being in, you know, on, on the boards there. Well, just had to box out, and make sure that everybody was boxing out, and they probably they still got a few that we should have had, and it gave them some second chance points, but we still got to work on it and just better for the future. Cooper, you had the shot right before halftime, and then the tying three, and then the go-ahead shot. Uh, is that just the game coming to you, or, is, or was that just, or, or do you look for the, the shot in big moments like that? Just the game coming to you. You don't ever want to try and force a shot. Just Daddy always says, let the play come to you, let the game come to you. Just you play your, you do your, you play your game, and big shots drop. Weston, I know you were working your tail off too. Uh, you know, they had some size. Uh, you know, just, just talk about going against, against their size. I remember being in this situation last year, coming here and telling y'all pretty much the same thing. Size really don't matter when it's, if you just got the fight. I mean, if you just don't quit, it ain't going to size the same what it really is. Which brings up Monday. Um, Wow, Just thought, thoughts about that matchup. Match uh, thought about it on the way here <laughs> to, the, to the locker room. and uh, uh, be tough. I'm so proud for JCA. So proud for Coach Miller. Uh, that's, that's big for their program. Uh, he's been around a long time. Uh, I, I, was, I mean, I was pulling for him. I was pulling for him, not for the fact that I think it's an easier route. I, I genuinely uh, like JCA's probably like their kids and like Coach Miller. 
And you know, I, I mean, I shook his hand after the very first time we played, we beat him at our place. And I said, that don't mean nothing. We got bigger games down the road. So we played the second time they beat us. And I said, I, I told you, this, this is not over. And so when we played in it, when we played, beat them in their championship game, I told him and all the players, and I even asked him, I said, I fully expect to see y'all again at Jack State. And here we are. And so, you know, it'd be a tough matchup. And this is their second home. I mean, as much as they play down here in the county tournament, they, they're real comfortable playing down here. And, uh, you know, it's a tough matchup. It's been a tough matchup for the last two years. And I don't know if, you know, at, at our place there in tournament, it's kind of like this game, ball bounced our way a couple of times. We got, got, got the win. You know, it's going to be that kind of game again with them. It's going to be a game that can go either way. Uh, we know each other very well. And somebody unusual is going to have to do something unusual for either team to really get separation in that because the, the usual guys are they're, they're red. Everybody knows what's going on there. It's going to take a, a, an unusual person to do something special for a team to really get some separation in that game, I think. But uh, we're, we're excited about our area being in the region championship game. That speaks volumes about our area of play. And, um, pleased with that. They present as much matchups as this one, but I do think JCA helped us win this one. Our battles with JCA and defending their big and their shooters, it's helped us get better for games like this. So, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Um, guys, just looking at kind of how the second half of the season has won and uh, especially there was definitely a few hard points for all of you guys, some of the, uh, the, the the big losses that you guys had to deal with. What has been the difference in this recent string of games, either in practice or just mentality, that's kind of got you guys to a different level, level to be ready for this recent path, the big run that y'all have been making? Pretty much from now on is win or be done. So we just go into practice every day, just give it 110%. Knowing you don't never know when it could be the last game of the year, last play of the year. We just know we got to go out there every day and give it all we got. I think some of the uh, some of the losses that we had, big losses in that kind of championship game, Sam Rock, I think some of that has put a fire in our tail, and we don't want to feel it again. And especially not to be the last game of the season, have to end your season on a loss to a team that you could have beat, or you or maybe. You made a bad play and maybe got beat by one point. It just puts a t uh, fire on your tail, lights you up. Don't want to feel it again. Some next in line, I feel like the, the football playoffs got us off to a slow start, and I'm not complaining at all. Every one of these guys play football. Third round, the football playoffs. How many days of practice did we have? At one point, I know we had more games than we had practice. And, Three, three practices for our first game. And, and I told a lot of people right after Christmas, middle of January, about county tournament time, I said, I feel like my boys are right where we should be about Thanksgiving because we had such a – but I told these guys, man, man, when you're looking at guys that play both sides of the football, you know, they play both sides of the football. They don't come off the field. Their bodies, their minds, it took a while for us to get some rhythm going. And we weren't – we did not have a lot of rhythm going into the county tournament. I even talked about the county tournament, how we're football guys trying to play basketball right now, but now the basketball is finally starting to seep in at the right time. We never wrote ourselves off. Some people did. Not Shannon Faith, some people did, but we never wrote ourselves off. And I, I knew what was in us, had to be patient. I told my wife, as soon as the season started, boy, don't, I said, force me to be patient with our boys because it's going to take them a long time to get your basketball ready. And, you know, this is where we are right now. They said it all. <laughs> Just the year and knowing that when you lose, you're done. Makes you want to play harder, practice harder. Just to play off your point, Coach, uh, I know you had told me the other night that you had to pretty much turn the girls over to Dana and Dana because you know, couldn't, you know, couldn't look ahead. You know, you some guys game, just, just talk about their game plan. You know, yeah, I'm blessed, I am blessed to have some great assistant coaches, and we had two days. We, we felt a little wiggle room at the end of the season and we could make a peek in the skyline on the girls' side. But our boys and the and we just, yeah, we, there was no time to peek. We had to do what we had to do for ourselves. 
So there was two days there that Coach Diner, Coach McDonald, they, they, they did the, the, the mind stuff, the defensive strategies to get things going. And I just come in, took a peek, said, hey, here's what we can do offensively. And, and, and they did a great job having us ready for that tonight. And obviously, Coach Howard kept, and Coach Ward and myself, we had to spend a little more time with the guys the last three or four days. And uh, it's, been, it's been a while. It's been pretty wild. Uh, I thought in the girls' game, I thought one of the big factors was you limited their second chance opportunities. I mean, you would get the rebound. I mean, a lot of times it'd just be one shot, and then you get the rebound and take it back up. You know, and that's something we talk about every day with every team from seventh grade up. We want to play defense. Defense is not over till you get that rebound. So let's play complete defense. And I thought we did a great job of of completing our task on defense. And yes, that was huge. That was big. It allowed us to get some transition buckets. When when they scored, we're slower. But boy, we wanted to push the pace. And you know, I, I've got a, a pretty neat little point guard that can find some cracks and get in there and put up some soft shots and seize the floor well. So we love to get the ball in her hands in transition. Speaking of ace, I mean, just talk about you know, for a seventh grader, I, I know she's grown up on on this court. You know, around this court. Hey, you know, let's talk about her. Performance. She got a lot of her mother. She got some DNA in it. It's basketball, and uh, you know, can't go wrong there. Uh, but yeah, I'm just proud. You know, as a coach, I'm wild sometimes. As a dad, it's just, you know, I got a mother too. It's just a lot, a lot of, a lot of being proud. And, but you know, enjoying it, trying to. I don't, you know, I'm pumping the brakes every day. I don't. It's, it flies by. And you know, I tell these guys all the time, let's let's enjoy each other, and that's what you know what we're trying to do right now. And uh, so it's a lot of fun. But I'm very impressed with how she handled things down here. She got ready to go to bed last night. And she she told her mom, she said, you know, I'm not even nervous. You know, I'm not even nervous. And uh, I said, well, you will be tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was going to pass out right after warm up. <laughs> but she's she handled that well, and I was real proud of how. Her teammates really support her and being seventh grade. They they really support her well. And Neely and Lexi, I thought, you know, were, were a great compliment to her. Just well, most definitely. And you know, Neely's been pretty solid for us. Boy, I can't talk enough. Lexi Atkinson and Chaz Pope right now. There are two that's just coming. <coughs> on. They're getting better every day. And I mean, hit 19 rebounds the other night. And, what 13 to nine and 14 two games before that. And people don't even know who he is yet. And I was. I just love that when those kind of guys do those kind of things. Lex, she's one of them on the girls' side. She's, she's probably not the first thing on Big Scout report, but she's doing a lot of things for us right now, positive. Cooper, you took a lot of three-point shots from behind the college line. Is it that that black line is the line that you see quickest, or were they forcing y'all out? That was, you know, they're big. They was kind of forcing us out, but then again, there is a habit to just being behind that line. If like the high school, anytime you play on a college, just without the white line, whenever it's that red, the old college uh, line, there's that habit of just staying back so that way there's no chance that you're on the line. And I think it messed some of us up with no, no doubt. Ricky, is there anything you think you can do to work on that? I tell them to forget about it, shoot it. That's all I tell them. It does. I've been explaining this down before. It feels like there's a ditch there, and they're afraid to step in that ditch. I, I mean, that's it's strange. I feel strange when I step out there and shoot one on the line. It is different, but I. Was, but we talk practice. We when our shooting is right. When it starts getting Christmas time on, I say, hey, let's back up and shoot a foot behind the line. Let's get caught and shoot back here. And I don't tell them that's why, but that's why I wanted to do that. Joe, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> eight, eight for 29, that's okay. Any other questions?